My name is David Hackham and I'm the Chief of Pediatric Surgery and the Surgeon in Chief of the Johns Hopkins Children's Centre. Our study focuses on a disease called necrotizing enterocolitis, or NEC. It's a terrible condition that affects premature infants and often the first time families will have ever heard of this disease is when their very own kid is actually affected by it. This is a disease that affects preemies in such a serious way. What typically happens is babies are doing fine in the ICU, they may be feeding, and then out of the blue they get terribly sick. Their bellies become distended, they start passing stool down below, and within 24 hours they're either dying or dead. And as pediatric surgeons, we're often called to operate on these children, occasionally when they're at their sickest, and uh, as you can imagine, many of these children uh, don't do very well. And there's a real need to understand the causes of this disease and to identify novel treatments for it, and that's where our study comes in. The basics of our study are as follows. We notice that in many, many kids that develop this condition, one of the first things that happens is their bellies become distended and they start to vomit, something that we call an ileus or failure of the intestine to actually work. And many people had thought that the belly becomes distended because of this disease. And yet because this distension happens before disease occurs, we thought that maybe the distension actually leads to the disease in the first place. And so in a series of studies, we showed that when the intestine stops functioning, it actually leads to this disease by causing something called inflammation in the lining of the intestine. We further went on to show that if we could actually reduce this distension, if we could find ways to kickstart the intestine, these, uh, this disease would actually be prevented. And as a result of these studies that were performed in mice, in piglets, and in human samples, we identified a new drug, which we call J11, that acts to prevent and even treat neck by kickstarting the intestines' uh, motor function and uh, treating the symptoms and ultimately the progression of this devastating illness.